Good morning children. Today we shall learn about lines. Many of you love to draw. Can you tell how to draw this house? It is simple. You can take a ruler and then you would make standing lines then slanting lines and the house is ready now you just color it and it's done now how do we draw a line look when your pencil touches the paper it creates a small dot on it so this is the dot then the pencil tip moves along the ruler and stops at another dot and this dot is called a point so we say here is the point but we cannot measure its length using a ruler a point is a exact location but it has no size it has only position like if your teacher says stand on this point she refers to the exact position where you should stand so we draw a line from one point to another point so now you know a point is an exact location it has no size only position it is represented by dot and it is named by a capital letter like here it is named point a and this is named as point b it can be any other letter too you know we use a ruler to draw a line which has no curves so it is a straight line a line has no thickness and we can only measure the length of the line so this line has no thickness and we can measure the length a straight line has no thickness and we can only measure the length of the line look here we are drawing a wave can you draw it with a ruler no it is not a straight line it has curved and it is called a curved line now can you draw the sun yes it is possible what to do let's take a bangle now if we draw a line along the inside of a bangle what do we get we get a curved line and this is how we draw the sun so this is a straight line and this is a curved line you know once the emperor akbar drew a line on the ground and told birbal make this line shorter without touching it then what did the birbal do birbal drew another line besides that line which was longer see he was so clever he made a longer line without touching the line now if i ask all of you to draw a line on the ground what will you do simple here you all drew the lines and just check each one drew different size of line but there is similarity also all the lines are straight and they can be extended in both the directions so we can say a line is straight without any curves and a line has no thickness and a line can be extended in both the direction without any end that is 
it can be extended infinitely or we can say a line has no ends so how could birbal make that line longer if akbar allowed him to touch it well he could extend that line from both the ends so the straight line can be extended in both the direction and it has no end points that is why sometimes straight lines are drawn with two arrow heads in the end which means it can be extended in both of these directions but if we want to draw a line between both the points of a racing track say 100 meter race we see that the line has two end points the beginning and the end for the race so when we draw a straight line between two fixed point it is called a line segment so this is a line segment because it has two fixed end points so this line has the two end points thus a line segment has two end points this is a line segment ab as it has two end points a and b so a and b are the end points of the line segment ab and it has a fixed length so a line segment can be measured if we put the torch in on position and point it towards the sky the light coming from it goes out and it fades away after a certain distance and we cannot see its end actually the light keeps going in a straight line endlessly but we cannot see it after a certain limit we commonly call it a ray of light same way a line which has just one end point is called a ray see here a ray starts at a given point and goes off in a certain direction forever or endlessly to infinity here the ray starts at a fixed point a and it goes on endlessly that's why the other end is shown with a arrow head to show it can be extended to infinity that is it is endless look here there are three brothers jagan magan and chagan look each person here occupies one exact position on the line they are standing on a line so he stands at point a he stood at point b and he stood at point c what do you see that points a b c or are, are on straight line so if many points lie in a straight line they are called collinear points so point a point b and point c are called collinear points understood now their father came and he stood on this point so he is not standing on this straight line he is out of the straight line so the points that do not lie on the same line are called non collinear points here point a b c and d are non collinear because d is not in the same line as the other three but we can say point a b c are collinear points as they are in the same straight line understood 
look here this hill is made of slanting lines and sleeping lines each of this line are made of many collinear points see this slanting line is made of so many collinear points so we can say a line is made of many collinear points same way the sun is a curved line and a curved line is made of lots of non collinear points like this so just by connecting dots or by connecting points we can make lines and many likes can make amazing shapes like connecting points we make curves and then a duck again by connecting collinear points we make straight lines and few straight line make different closed figures for example here we are making the body of a friend square e there are many shapes around all are made of lines and lines are made of points the points may be collinear or non collinear so go and explore the shapes know them draw them and have fun do you know what we are learning this is geometry it is part of maths which discusses about property of shapes sizes etc that is all for today bye bye children